Hey folks, this is Sean with archerytalk.com. You might recognize my username as November Rupp. With Archery Talk being the largest archery and hunting website on the web, we thought we'd throw together a small video to teach the newcomers how to choose their equipment. In this segment, I'd like to determine your draw length, your correct bow poundage, and what cam style would suit you the best. On the first part, I'd like to determine your draw length. What, what I'd like you to do is I'd like to hold your arms straight out like this and have someone measure from fingertip to fingertip on your middle finger. Generally when you take this measurement, you can divide it by 2.5 and come up with your draw length. For me, my tip to tip is 72 inches. When you divide that by 2.5, it comes up at 28.8, which suits me perfect. I set my bow at 28 inch draw and then I have about a half inch knocking loop so the draw length will fit me very well. Now you can change this by a few tweaks here and there to get it to hold really well for you, but that's the general idea in getting your bow spec. On the poundage, you want to start with a bow that's pretty easy for you to pull back. You don't want to overdo yourself because these are going to be muscles that you're not used to using. So what you want to do is you want to go to a local pro shop, get a bow that's set roughly at your draw length and check by pulling back each bow and determining what poundage you're going to be comfortable with that you can shoot for a long period of time and not have a lot of fatigue issues. In this section, I want to touch on the most commonly used cams on the market today. Each one of these cams has their own pros and cons, and it's really going to be a personal choice on which route you go. You really need to go to a pro shop draw back every one of these bows with a different style of cams on it and see which one you think is really going to fit your needs. The first bow I'm going to show you is a hybrid cam model. The hybrid cam model seems to be the most popular cam on the market today since most people are looking for a little bit extra speed. One of the easiest ways to tell that you have a hybrid cam model is you do not have a yoke system. Your cables and everything are slaved together with your cams. The next bow I want to show you is a single cam bow. Single cam bows seem to be a little bit smoother. The easiest way to tell a single cam bow is you have a perfectly round idler wheel at the top and your cam is at the bottom. This next cam system is a cam and a half. One of the easiest ways to tell is you have a Centrix on both ends but you only have a yoke system on the top. This bow here is a two cam bow. One of the easiest way to tell a two cam bow is your centrics on each end will be the same and you'll have a yoke connecting on the outside of the limb on each end. In summary, each one of these cams is going to have their benefits. Speed is not going to be the end all. The most important thing is to get a bow that fits you properly that you can shoot consistently. In this section, I want to touch on how to set your draw length and how to set the poundage on your bow. Not all bows come with adjustable modules. Some bows are draw length specific and you'll have to order it in your correct draw length. This particular bow has modules on it. You can see them here, they're silver. These modules can be adjusted in half inch increments from 27 to 30 inch draw. In this section I want to show you how to take poundage off of your bow by adjusting your limb bolts. You'll insert your allen key in the limb bolt. By taking a full turn off of the limb bolt on each end of your bow will take approximately two to three pounds off of the poundage. 